an amazing race again. Um, probably a little bit better than expected with tire wear. Um, but uh, yeah, once we stayed ahead in turn one, we could uh, look after our tires. Of course, on the soft, it's always a bit more critical in that first stint, but once um, we put the medium tires on, it seemed very competitive. Probably didn't have the strategy maybe quite right today, but nonetheless, to be this close, uh, to have t two seconds back to back, I'm so, so proud and so grateful to the team. And um, I think the race was generally, race pace was generally quite good. It was just, we were just offset our tires most of the time. It's always nice, you know, to be standing on that such a special podium with the, in front of the photo all, but I, I obviously wanted more. I'm a bit disappointed with the result, to be honest, because uh, I felt that we could have finished second, uh, but unfortunately we had a bad stop, which put us quite quite far behind, unfortunately. A little bit frustrating, I think. I made a good start, uh, but you know, Lewis was there on the inside, and you know, I was probably a little bit too cautious there, obviously, my teammate, and. Um, Ultimately, that probably cost me. This weekend, I think we clearly just didn't have the pace of the of the top four this weekend. We know why, I think, which is the positive thing. And also on top of that, if they were for a day that we needed a bit more of a chaotic race, nothing really happened. So we we did a, a good race from my side, a good pace, but a P5 was a match. Way too slow for the guys in front, much quicker than the guys behind. So uh, yeah, we just did our strategy, focused on ourselves, tried to maximize our package. Which, he, which we did, but we are one minute behind the leaders. I wish, uh, I wish there was an explanation why you know, it hasn't been like this more, more often. Um, you know, races where I can just lean on the car and, and, and kind of put it where I want. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, look, obviously there's only a few left. Better late than never, happy to, happy to have had a, an attacking race. We didn't put everything together, but uh, we, we fought hard the whole way. Um, damage limitation, I would call it today. Um, obviously, we lost Fernando. Um, we are supposed to be having a double points finish today, um, and uh, yeah, I was managing a lot the, the cooling issue that we were having, and that's mainly why we lost to Daniel. I think we did a good job. We did kind of what we had to do at certain points, um, but we still looked at the big picture, and, and the, the other side did a very good job today. So um, I'm happy, uh, especially on a day like today when reliability was important. For sure, I was hoping for more. I mean, from where we started, but the race pace wasn't quite there. And especially, we had difficulties on the hard tire just to keep it up in a good temperature. That was a tricky, tricky thing, and especially on the front axle. So just sliding around quite a bit, and it was not easy. When we started uh, 14th. We were close to the top 10, and uh, yeah, it would have been nice to, to score a point. Most of the cars we overtook on track, or we we uh, did it in the pit stops, and we. Um, got to toss, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think considering where we were on Friday uh, on a circuit we knew was going to be difficult for us, I felt like we did a very good job. The moment we put on soft, I was stuck in the traffic, and then I knew behind Alfa Tauri or Williams they are one of the two biggest cars, so it's very difficult to make progress on there. So, yeah, let's say I really enjoyed the first part of the race, and the second part was a little bit more tricky. No, I think we were overall just a little bit too slow today, so um, yeah, I think. Uh, we held on to OK, but then got a bit unlucky with Yuki, who came slow on the track and just lost too much time. And then I was a, an easy target. Yeah, it was not good. I mean, uh, we just, yeah, <laughs> we were just graining tires and didn't have a good pace today. So we're trying to understand what happened this weekend and move, uh, move on to Brazil. We know the pace was there yesterday. Um, it unfortunately wasn't there today. Uh, nothing wrong with, uh, with the strategy or, uh, or nothing in that sense. So. Yeah, that was, our, that was our pace and that's what we have to live with at the moment and today, but I'm sure that Brazil, uh, you know, things might look very different again. Did a, a medium soft race, uh, which I, get, I guess could have given us some opportunities, but we were a bit too far off today to, uh, to, really, to really do too much. Well, I was told towards the end that we did have damage, but I mean, I'm not sure exactly when we sustained it. It must have been very early on. Um, because, yeah, I mean, we, we just had no pace. Pace-wise, I was like 20 seconds or something like that ahead of the McLarens and uh, my teammates. So, yeah, uh, I was, I, I felt fast today. But, uh, yeah, once once again, as the car 14 stops. Yeah, it's so shame, but until then it was super good. Um, yeah, managed well, especially first thing, soft, soft tire and good positions. And, yeah, it's just so shocking uh, how he overtake like he just sent it in the front wing and just had a damage i don't know if he had, had damage but uh, yeah it's pretty shocking uh, what i had and it's, it's so frustrating